Have you ever wondered about the unknown aspects of Aristotle's early life? Today, we delve into the enigma that is the early years of one of history's greatest philosophers. Born in the small city of Stagira, nestled in the northern part of Greece, Aristotle's beginnings were humble, yet intriguing. His father, Nicomachus, held the esteemed position of the royal physician to King Amyntas of Macedonia, which may have played a role in shaping Aristotle's analytical mind. His mother, Fiestus, on the other hand, is a character shrouded in mystery. Little is known about her aside from her family's roots in the ancient town of Chalcis. Her story, much like many women of the time, remains untold, adding another layer of intrigue to Aristotle's early life. Aristotle's early education is yet another aspect that's largely hidden in the shadows of history. We know that he was orphaned at a young age, and a guardian named Proxenus of Atanius, who was married to Aristotle's older sister, Arimneste, took over his upbringing. It is believed that Proxenus introduced Aristotle to a world of literature and learning, laying the groundwork for his future philosophical pursuits. Yet, the specifics of Aristotle's initial learning years remain elusive, what was his day-to-day -day life like? What books did he read? What kind of student was he? These are questions to which we may never have definitive answers. This lack of information, however, does not diminish the significance of Aristotle's early life. Instead, it adds to the intrigue and fascination surrounding the philosopher. It's a testament to the fact that even the greatest minds have humble and often obscure beginnings. Thus, the early life of Aristotle, a man who would influence Western thought for centuries, remains shrouded in mystery. His journey from the small city of Stagira to being the tutor of Alexander the Great and a renowned philosopher is a remarkable tale of resilience, brilliance and ceaseless curiosity. And yet, the enigma of his early life continues to captivate us, reminding us that every great story has its hidden chapters. What if I told you that there's a period in Aristotle's life, from his late teens to his early thirties, which is relatively unknown? Indeed, Aristotle, the intellectual titan of antiquity, whose influence permeates the annals of philosophy, science and arts, spent a significant part of his life in Asia Minor. An era shrouded in mystery and conjecture, it is a time that leaves us asking, what was Aristotle doing during these formative years? The prevailing theory suggests that Aristotle might have been part of an army. Some scholars believe he could have been attached to a military campaign, perhaps serving as a physician or a strategic advisor. The discipline of military life, the camaraderie of soldiers, the thrill of victory and the despair of defeat, such experiences could have lent a unique perspective to his later philosophical works. Alternatively, it is equally plausible that Aristotle was indulging his insatiable curiosity for the natural world during this time. Asia Minor, with its diverse flora, fauna and geographical marvels, would have been a veritable playground for a mind like Aristotle's. His subsequent contributions to biology, meteorology and other sciences might have their roots in these exploratory years. Yet another theory paints Aristotle as a player in the high-stakes game of political intrigue. His family's connections to the Macedonian court could have drawn him into the volatile world of politics. The insights gained from navigating such treacherous waters could have informed his political philosophy, particularly his thoughts on ethics and governance. But alas, without concrete evidence, these theories remain speculative. This period of Aristotle's life, much like the man himself, is a paradox, an enigma within an enigma. The obscurity of these years is a tantalizing puzzle for historians and philosophers alike, a testament to the enduring allure of Aristotle's life and works. And so, a significant portion of Aristotle's life, which could have shaped his later works, remains an enigma. Can you imagine a time when Aristotle, the great philosopher, was himself a student. Picture a young Aristotle, eager and curious, entering the hallowed halls of Plato's academy in Athens. It was here, under the tutelage of Plato himself, that Aristotle's philosophical journey truly began. Their relationship, however, was not merely that of a teacher and student. 
Plato recognized Aristotle's genius, referring to him as the mind of the academy. Yet the two did not always see eye to eye, with Aristotle challenging many of Plato's theories, sparking intellectual debates that would shape the course of Western philosophy. The mystery deepens when we consider Aristotle's sudden departure from the academy. Following Plato's death, it was expected that Aristotle would assume leadership. Instead, he left Athens. Some suggest this was due to a disagreement with Plato's nephew, Speusippus, who was chosen as Plato's successor. Others believe that Aristotle's own philosophical beliefs, diverging from Plato's, were the main cause. During his time at the Academy, Aristotle developed his own distinct philosophical path. He questioned Plato's theory of forms, arguing that forms do not exist independently of objects, Aristotle proposed that form and matter are inseparable, an idea that would later become central to his philosophy. Yet, many aspects of Aristotle's philosophical journey during this period remain a mystery. His works from this time have been lost to history, leaving us with a tantalizing gap in our understanding of his evolution as a thinker. What is clear, however, is that Aristotle's time at the Academy was a critical period in his intellectual development. It was here that he began to question, to challenge and to think independently, laying the groundwork for his later philosophical achievements. Thus, Aristotle's journey to becoming the father of Western philosophy has its own mysteries. His time at the Academy, his disagreements with Plato, and his unexplored philosophical journey all contribute to the enigma that is Aristotle, a testament to the enduring intrigue of one of history's greatest minds. Did you know that only a fraction of Aristotle's works have survived till today? This is indeed a profound realization that leaves us with a sense of curiosity and wonder. Aristotle, the great philosopher, left behind a vast body of work, yet the majority of it has been lost to the sands of time. Imagine the magnitude of wisdom contained in those lost works. Aristotle's surviving writings already cover a wide spectrum of knowledge, from biology and physics to ethics and politics. They have shaped centuries of thought and continue to influence our understanding of the world. Now think of what the lost works could have added to this intellectual treasure trove. The lost works of Aristotle were likely composed during his time as a teacher at the Lyceum in Athens. They were said to be more polished and structured than his surviving works designed for a broader audience, not just for his students. Unfortunately, these works were not widely circulated, and their existence remained largely unknown. The mystery of these lost works is as intriguing as their content might have been. How did they disappear? Some scholars suggest that they were stored in a library in Athens or Alexandria, and were destroyed in a fire. Others believe they were hidden away to protect them from the political turbulence of the time, only to be forgotten. We may never know the truth. These lost works could have given us a more comprehensive understanding of Aristotle's philosophy. They might have shed light on his thoughts on subjects that his surviving works barely touch upon. They could have also provided a clearer picture of his evolution as a philosopher, tracing his journey from Plato's student to the founder of his own school of thought. Yet. Despite the loss, what remains of Aristotle's works is a testament to his genius. His surviving writings continue to inspire and challenge us, proving that his ideas have stood the test of time. The lost works of Aristotle, then, remain a tantalizing mystery for scholars. The enigma they present is a reminder that our understanding of history, and of the great minds that shaped it, is always evolving, always open to new discoveries and new interpretations. So, what can we conclude about the unknown history of Aristotle? Well, we've traversed through the foggy lanes of Aristotle's early life, a phase shrouded in enigma. We discovered the sparse details of his childhood, the untimely demise of his parents, and the beginnings of his intellectual journey under the tutelage of the great Plato. This period of his life, though shrouded in mystery, laid the foundation stone for his illustrious philosophical journey. Then, we journeyed through the uncharted territories of Aristotle's years in Asia Minor. This phase remains largely unknown, yet it was a time when Aristotle expanded his horizons, not just geographically, but intellectually too. 
It was during these years that he began to question Plato's ideas, setting the stage for his own philosophical theories. Our journey then took us through the labyrinth of Aristotle's unexplored philosophical journey. This is a journey that is still being mapped out by scholars today. During this period, Aristotle developed his own philosophical theories, diverging from the teachings of Plato. His ideas on metaphysics, ethics, politics and aesthetics, among others, continue to influence contemporary thought. We also delved into the mystery of Aristotle's lost works. A significant portion of Aristotle's works has been lost to the sands of time, leaving us with tantalizing hints of the depth and breadth of his thinking. These missing pieces of the puzzle add an extra layer of intrigue to the enigma that is Aristotle. In the end, the unknown history of Aristotle serves as a reminder that even the greatest minds have their own mysteries waiting to be unraveled. It underscores our never-ending quest for knowledge, the thrill of discovery, and the continuous unraveling of the mysteries of the past. It teaches us that every chapter in history, every life lived, has its share of knowns and unknowns, and it's this interplay of light and shadow that makes our journey through time so fascinating. In the end, the unknown history of Aristotle serves as a reminder that even the greatest minds have their own mysteries waiting to be unraveled.